Okay, you're looking to change the menu color in WordPress. There are three really simple ways to do this. Let's just jump straight in. By far the easiest is to use um, your theme editor or customizer to change the primary navigation colors. So we'll jump to the dashboard in a second, but a really quick distinction. Generate Press, the theme we use, has four different levels that you can adjust the color for in your navigation. The menu background, that's this main menu background here. We have it set to white, you can see that here. The text we have set to black, but then there's also the sub menu. So about, for example, drops down for us. We have sub menus nested underneath it. That background and that text can also be adjusted within our theme. So if we head over to the dashboard in WordPress, go to appearance, customize, you'll see that for generate press, the pathway would be to go to colors shown here. And then within colors, we'll see primary navigation right here. So if we click this as a drop down, all four levels, the back main background and text and the sub menu background and text have the option to change the colors. We're collapsed a little bit. So you're seeing the mobile menu here, but it will affect both. In Generate Press, you see initial color, hover, and current. Initial is just the default. When you visit the site, that's the color the menu will be. Hover is also pretty intuitive when you put your cursor over it. So let's just show an example here. If we hover over blogging, it's going to change it to gray. Um, it's black otherwise. And then current simply means that for whatever page or post you're on, it'll change the menu colors for that page or post, but not for the rest of your site. So if we went to blogging and then we set the current menu colors there, only when a visitor is on the blogging page, would they see those menu colors, but not the rest of your, your site. Let's say you like your theme, but it doesn't have the same flexibility you want and you would like to change one of these colors and you simply can't through the customizer. It's not a problem. You also can use the second approach, which is to add some custom CSS code. So it can sound a little daunting. You do not need to know coding or programming to do this. The first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna visit your website and you're gonna use the inspect tool. So I have our site open in the background. So we'll simply go to your website, right click and select inspect at the bottom. Once the inspect window opens and then in the right here, go to the top left corner of the inspect window and click the arrow. That will make your cursor sort of live and you'll hover it over the menu. And when we do that, what we're looking for is the CSS class name of our menu. And for Generate Press and for Niche Twins, that is simply this right here, which is main dash navigation. So that's our CSS class name. With your CSS class name in hand for your menu, you'll go back to the customizer. This time, instead of going to colors, we're gonna go to the bottom to additional CSS right here. You can see I already have some CSS code in there. Make a little bit of space at the very bottom for a new couple lines of code. And if you go back to our post, you'll see here, scroll down a little bit, we have the code that you need to copy and paste. So for us, again, the main navigation and make sure you put the period. So dot main navigation is our CSS class and the rest of the code tells it what we want it to do. Your class name may be different. So you'd plug and play that here. And then if you want to change the main menu background, you'd use this line of code. And then underneath is the initial text and then also the hover text. So you can change all three. The hex code that's listed here, you also need to replace this with the hex value of the color you wish to change to. So you just copy and paste this into the additional CSS field, hit save, and you'd see that reflected on your main site after you clear cache. If you wanna change the sub menu, that's fine. You can do that too. You'd also have to use the inspect tool to figure out what that CSS class is. For us, it's literally just dot sub um, dash menu and you'll figure out yours and you'll use the same remaining code for additional CSS. Okay, those are two ways. What if you only wanted to change one menu item uh, and not all of them? So for example, we have, I've set this to green as an example here. How, how would you go about doing that? So the third approach is to add custom HTML code to your navigation label. A lot of people don't even know that this is possible. So let's just go back to the WordPress dashboard and under appearance, this time we're gonna go to menu. Ooh, looks like I jumped the gun there. 
appearance menu. Here we go. And then I've already added in some of this code and you can get this again from the post, but within the navigation label, usually you just have whatever menu item title you have. So for this, it's about, that's all we had before. But if you add in this additional code and you tell it the hex value of the color you want the text to be, so about to show, which is currently green, and hit save menu and clear your cache, when you go to your website, you'll, you'll see that that's all, that change has been implemented. Um, and so we're on the WordPress version here, but if we go to the actual incognito version of the website, you see about is green, the rest is not. So I'm going to just head back to that, to the post really quickly here to show you where you can find that it's in the third section. This is the font code color, um, that you'd like to add in, but you can also do background color. So you'd use this snippet of code in place. Um, there, you can see there's padding here, so you can play around with this. It's set to 22 pixels at the moment. You can make that more or less depending on how it looks on the live site. Okay, those are the three ways you can change your menu color in WordPress. Hope you found that helpful. If you did, like, subscribe, and head over to nichetwins.com for additional blogging tips and resources. Thanks, guys.